the infamous franchise of Friday the 13th was confirmed to be getting a new TV show, happily titled Crystal Lake. You sure about that? Or is it? Is it getting canceled? Will we have to wait another decade? No, as of right now, the show is still happening, but there's still some reasons that might worry us horror fans. Let's get into it. Welcome back, I'm Sippin' Ice. This past week has been a roller coaster ride for not only me and you, but even for the people behind the scenes making the show. Earlier, rumors started flying around that Crystal Lake was being pulled by A24 and got canceled, but just as quickly as those rumors came out, they were proven false. Now those rumors weren't true, but at the same time, there's a reason that caused that rumor to circulate in the first place. According to Bloody Disgusting, the proper description of what is actually going on is simply the project is being retooled behind the scenes. Which leads me to this. Team, I got good news and I got bad news. Which do you want first? Bad? Okay, bad it is. The bad news is that Brian Fuller, the showrunner for Crystal Lake, has officially left the project due to opposing ideas. I'll dive more into that in a second. The good news, however, is that A24 isn't yet giving up hope on the show and still plans to release it at some point. The three top dogs in creating this new show were A24, Peacock, and Brian Fuller. But obviously now Brian is gone and this does leave A24 and Peacock looking for a new showrunner. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Brian Fuller posted to X or Twitter and Instagram to announce his departure. He posted a picture of the ending to the original Friday the 13th featuring Adrian King. The caption read as, Adapting classic horror is something I have some experience with. These shows require a vision that elevates and transforms, as well as delivers what audiences have come to expect, which is an ambitious and risky endeavor. It requires people to take the lead with me. When it works, as with Hannibal, the results can be powerful for the storytellers and the audience. I couldn't be more proud of the work my co-showrunner Jim Danger Gray and I were able to accomplish with our brilliant writing staff despite the challenges we faced. For reasons beyond our control, A24 has elected to go a different way with the material. We hope the final product will be something Friday the 13th fans all over the world will enjoy. Honestly though, what makes this news even harder of a big, huge pause peel to swallow is that Brian was an actual fan of the movies. One thing that has plagued many reboots, adaptations of comics, games, etc. is that it just seems like the people creating it had no love for the source material, or in this case, the original source material. If you've seen me before, Hi, how are you? then you've heard me say it. Money talks, and in this industry, it runs the whole operation. It seems when shows fail or just borderline don't get good reviews, it's usually because they just want to make a quick cash cow. You know who you are. <laughs> bro, please, bro. Why are you do <laughs> But hey, A24 has made some really good horror movies, so maybe this show will still turn out good? Maybe? As for the title of this video, should you be worried? Well, honestly, yes and no. No, you don't need to worry because the show is still happening and will eventually release. What you could worry about though, is what changed. Why the reworks? Brian Fuller was a big Friday the 13th fan. So what changes gave him enough concern to leave the project entirely? Going back to his post, that last paragraph said, for reasons beyond our control, A24 has elected to go a different way with the material. We hope the final product will be something Friday the 13th fans all over the world will enjoy. To me, this shouts, hey, we changed up a lot and we're changing some of the original source material too. Obviously, this isn't confirmed, but that's the vibe it gives off. Similarly to Henry Cavill leaving the Witcher series because they changed too much of the original source material. Could we be seeing the same thing happen to Jason and Pamela Voorhees? I lied. Uh, so you're a liar. There's one more thing. Take this with a grain of salt though, but Adrian King, the OG final girl of the franchise, has signed on to appear in the series. Some are worried that the news of the rework means that there's even a chance we could even lose her. I personally believe this to be a bit of a stretch, but hey, anything can happen behind the scenes. But she is supposedly signed on for a recurring role. Perhaps the camp owner? Or maybe simply just a camp counselor again. From Bloody Disgusting, Peacock had given the project a straight to series order in 2022, with Crystal Lake being described as an an extended prequel to the original Friday the 13th franchise featuring both Jason Voorhees and his mother Pamela Voorhees. Are you still excited for Crystal Lake? Are you nervous? 
If you are, then why not do a little bit of happy speculating by watching this video where I talk about the possibility of Melissa Barrera reprising her role as Sam Carpenter. I appreciate your time. Stay chill, and I will see you next time. Because let's face it, baby, these days, you gotta have a sequel.